Paddy Dow, 2022. Can he do it? Can he rise and break through and achieve the what we call the potential that he know we know he has and, and turn it into something consistent? Pom, Dow is one of many. I would say in a similar situation where he's got the talent, he's got that breakthrough pace. We, we, we know the attributes. Um, but 2022 presents a very interesting year for him because he's had a really good crack at it now in terms of number of pre-seasons. What is it with you and Paddy Dow this year? What, what are you seeing with him? Well, I think he, I think I don't like to use the phrase make or break, but no. I, I think this year is make or break. I think there is so much competition in the midfield that we're not going to get them opportunities where you play because you're fit. You've got to actually be ready to play. And actually, I think there's going to be a lot of chopping and changing early doors. And I think this might be that this is like the SPS year last year. It's really sure you are something because yeah. Carlton, you'd imagine with their salary cap as well, a lot of eggs don't go into a 12 holder. So you'd imagine that this may be the chance where Carlton think if he isn't breaking into that top five, let's have a look at what commodity is and put the time into a young person. I do mm -hmm. think he can do it though. And I do think he's an exceptionally talented player, but I do think this is the year where we need him up there with Chera and Walsh and really banging on that door as the next best. If he just becomes a plodder, which he's in the danger of at times, I think this could be his last year if that's where he comes. Yeah, in terms of having that that perception around what he's going to be doing for the team in terms of his role? Yeah, spot on. I think if it's going to be one of them things where he's been moved around pillar to post to play him in, to slot him in, which has been happening under Teague, I think I would say if I was the list manager, I'd be cutting loose and saying, look, we can pay an 18-year-old kid to chop and change. Paddy yeah. Dow needs to show us what that X factor he's got and bring it on a weekly basis. Yeah. Well, look, 21 was an interesting year for him on a few fronts. I mean, the averages will say 14 touches a game, but there are a few games in there that have really skewed the averages. I feel like the Essendon game, something happened, something changed. He had the four or five early clearances and he got the poke in the eye and you just felt like, oh, wow, he's starting to really attack the contest now. Uh, and, you know, you hear the players talk about how he how he trains at training and he does all of the things at training. And it's just a matter of time before that translates into games. I think I think towards the end of the year, like pretty much the I think the Adelaide game onwards, the other 20 against Adelaide, the other, then he had the 22 against Frio. And it was that Frio game, which was the second time we played them, where he started to look like it was clicking. The game was slowing down. And I think the challenge with Paddy from what, you know, from my lens is when the players become great they all have this same common theme or this common trait and that is they're able to think their way through what's happening and I guess the hope for me with Patty is that all the experience up until now all the pre-seasons all the situations he's been in in terms of match simulation and, and real games hopefully he's accumulated the knowledge that he needs to where it's you know suppressed into his subconscious and he just knows what to do. He's now more than just a student of the game. I'm hoping there's a bit of a, a graduation of sorts. Mate, I, I can't agree with you anymore. And I think he'll do it. I think if you look like you quite, like you said, after the Crows game, them six patches of games he played where Teague finally worked out he was a midfielder and deployed him where he should be. He was brilliant, particularly in the wins, averaging about 22.4 in just the wins in that period. He really did stand out. And that's when I always think you can see a good footballer. In the wins, do they stand out? In the losses, it's quite easy to stand out because usually with Carlton, 19 blokes haven't turned up and there's three who have. But in the wins, it's usually on the back of Walsh or Cripps. A lot of them wins, you can say Dow was a huge part of and was probably unlucky to be moved in fourth quarters. T got a habit of pulling him out of the contest when the going got tough, even though he was dominating. I think, and this is a controversial thing, I love Dow. I think if you say you listed our midfielders in order, you've got Walsh, Cripps, probably probably one and two, depending on who you ask. Chera would be probably the third. I think he's the fourth, and I think Dow has things he can do that Walsh, Chera and Cripps can't do. And mm. I think if you actually look at Dow as a footballer, if he can reach his potential, them four offer massive variety in what they can do. 
And I think that, that you look at the Melbourne midfield, who was easily the best last year, and the Doggies, similar makeup, four guys who do four different things incredibly well, and it makes it hard for you to monitor. And I think Dow has got a huge opportunity this year, and I really do think he'll do it. I hope he does it. But I think his talent isn't beyond question. What I'm hoping, and I think Voss will do it, is he plays him in his best position and has a bit of faith and realises he isn't going to be a 30-touch footballer. He's going to be a 20-touch footballer. But them 20 touches, as we've seen in them wins this year, he can take the game away from a side. Mm. So... I've thought about this because he's not he's not a natural accumulator of sorts. And, you know, we've been speaking about this pretty much since he was drafted. He's, he's never going to be, well, he, he could be, but I don't think he's a guy that's going to give you 30, 35 possessions a game, sort of kind of like what we expect Walsh to get to. He kind of is there right now. Um, but it's, it's those low 20 possession games, which are the ones that Paddy – is really known for. And they're the ones where you see him play his best footies. What does, what does a, what does a successful year for him look like for you at the end of 2022? What does he need to have done for you to say, yep, he did what he needed to do. I think for, for, for Dow, it is around that 20 mark. I'm happy with it. I think when you look at people forget he was compared to danger. That was his draft profile. Now, you look at Danger, Danger doesn't get 30 all the time. You look at Danger, he oscillates around that 22 mark. What Danger does well is he breaks from contest and gets that early entry inside 50. And mm. people criticise Dow. A lot of Cowan fans do, and they say, I want 35 from him. That's what Walsh is there for. That's what Cripps is there for. To a lesser extent, Chair has got that ability. He's that 20-touch guy who is getting early ball into the likes of Mackay, and Kerno, and when that happens, they're flourishing. So I'm really looking at that role. I'm looking at him having them quarters where he takes the game away from teams when we need him. And he's the kind of guy I'd look at when we're under the cosh who can break and run against against the run of play, run inside 50 kick a goal, get the one out one out to Mackay. And he's that guy. So for me, a successful year is holding his position in the team, but also really adding that taking the game on and having the confidence to do that, which we saw in the latter part of the season. Yeah, I'm with you. I think at the end of the season, if if he has put himself into a conversation where we're all saying he's 100% in the best 22 and he's locked down his spot and he becomes that fourth best midfielder in the team or you know fourth or fifth or starting midfielder that plays, you know, 20 plus games, you know, injury free, hopefully. That is really the ideal situation for me. The numbers, look, the numbers are the numbers. As long as he's playing good enough footy with whatever numbers he is getting, for me to be like, yeah, Dowie is, is really here. I think that's the hope for me. And I like I'm confident, I really am confident that what we saw at the end of 2021 is going to continue on into the preseason, which you know they're currently on a break, but they'll be training. And I, I'm hoping, like, I'm just hoping this is the year that it just clicks for a full season for him. Couldn't agree more. And it has to be, doesn't it? I think with with him, it has to be this year. I, I think for me, I'd hope Carlton cut him loose. If he doesn't and he doesn't make the team, for me, he, he's got trade value. And I think Carlton will look at that. Don't do what we did with SPS and leave it too long until you get a bag of chips. I think if you can get him the experience and the talent, it's it's a tradable situation. But I'm a big fan of Dow, and I don't think it'll get to that stage. I mean, if I was Dow, my message to him is, fuck Chera. Look at, say, look, I, screw being fourth. I want to be behind Walsh and Cripps. I want to be the next guy. I want to be putting pressure on them. And hopefully, I know he's living with Walsh, isn't he, or training exclusively with him. Hopefully that is the cog that turns Dow into it. Because Dow, in my opinion, looking at his junior form, he deserves to be in the Walsh bracket. He should be talked about as an elite level footballer because he has got the skill set. I think he just needs a little bit of TLC, a bit of love and a bit of faith. We saw it in, when he first got drafted when Bolton kept giving him chances. It started to flourish. We need that back. We need someone just to put him under his wing and say, off you go, mate play footy because when he's on form he's very good yeah looking forward to it what about you guys at home what do you think we are going to get from paddy dow in 2022 and what is it for you 
that would signify a successful year? Let us know in the comments below.